Shalom, 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 saints of the Most High Yah. Pastor Rufus back again. Coming to you from the servants of Yah. Got another video. I think you guys see the title of this. I got one question. One question. This video is not going to be long, y'all. But I do ask respectfully for you to take it serious and actually leave your answer, if you have one, in the comment section of this video, okay? Now, most of you that follow my channel know what's been going on with the split between myself and Straightway. And there's been a nasty, vicious, wicked, lying narrative that has been told about me, okay? That narrative is that I committed the sin of presumptuousness. And that sin is so egregious that you only have one option, and that is to cut that individual off. There's no repentance, there's no restoration, there's no um, nothing. You have to, if they're presumptuous, you have to cut that individual off from Israel. That is a narrative that's been pushed. They have used scriptures like Deuteronomy 19. They have used scriptures like Numbers 15. And they have used scriptures like Numbers 16. Now, I say to you, please go read all of those. Deuteronomy 19, Numbers 15, and Numbers 16. Please read it yourself. Because you'll actually see that what you read is not what they're telling you. But here's my question. Let's go with the narrative being pushed by these wicked men in Israel. Pastor Charles Dow Jr., Pastor Daniel Meir, Pastor Corey Phillips, Elder Kabir Baja Bia Miller, Elder Rob Mathis, and Elder Miguel out there in um, Kansas City. Now, there may be others, other deacons, um, teachers, I don't know. I'm not going to call their names, though. Here's the question, y'all. If we go by their narrative that the sin of presumptuousness, the only resolution for it is to put the person away. You have to do that, right? If that is the question, why then did these wicked men that have accused me of being presumptuous and saying to you, we don't have to follow the words of Jesus because it was Jesus that told us to go to our brother and our brother alone, right? If you have an all, then he told you to take two, one or two more, right? Witnesses. Then he also, not, not jury, witnesses. Then he also said that if that don't work, go before the whole congregation. If you go look in Deuteronomy 19, if you go look in Numbers 15 and you go look in Numbers 16, that's exactly what took place. So even the law lines up with what Jesus said do. What these men, these wicked men I just named, has told you that no, when it's presumptuous, you don't have to go before Yah. You don't have to go before all the elders and all the leaders. You don't have to go before the people. Put this person away. All right. And I really want you all to think about this. Put that individual away. If that is true, why then did these same wicked men offer me a judgment that would have allowed me to stay amongst you? If presumptuous is so bad that you have to put that presumptuous sin away, you have to kill it, you have to put it away from the people. Why did they offer me a judgment? That would have allowed me to stay in Israel. Now, for those of you that don't know what the judgments are, you can go to my community section and look, I have them listed. They're all 11 things that they wanted me to bow down to them and do to stay in Israel. Show me from their perspective of what presumptuous is. Show me where that's an option. I want to see your answers. In the comment section. If you really believed what these men had been telling you all this time, 
The presumption was so bad. He don't have to come before the people. We don't have to get all the elders involved. He just needs to be put away from us. Why did they have an option for me to stay in Israel through their wicked judgments? Somebody please answer that question. Do it in the comment section, please. Make sense of that. We're going by their narrative. I'm telling you it's wicked, but I'm, we're going to go by their narrative. If I'm presumptuous and I have to be put away, no other option. Why did they give me another option then? I'll wait.